Bang, bang. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's me Nathan and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia the Dark Descent. Right, I did a stream on this, uh, I'm just going to say Saturday. And I, I've been enjoying it, so can I, can I take this off? No, I cannot. Okay, there's only one way I could use this part then. And what I've done, considering I'm not streaming it anymore, I've gone back on normal mode, so it automatically saves at times. It's more easily to it's more easy to find tinder boxes and oil, as you can clearly see. Just from my state of mind, and for you guys to so see progress throughout the story. Nevertheless, let's just carry on. I'm back to where I just I left the stream yesterday. Well, I went a bit further on than that, because I couldn't save it. Yeah, I know how to take this off. Let's do... Whoops! There you go. Now, can I go back up? I'm wondering if you could remake the, um... Acid. Acid. So you get to keep it. Cloth smell of desert and damp mask. Ow, that actually hurt. All is good though. Cause it's all still there, look. And if I do that, it all still lights up. Uh, I won't let me use it again. Damn it. I think I don't. Nah, see? We won't let me use it again. Oh, that sucks. Just do this. There we go. I don't need that anymore. How do these boxes sort themselves out? I don't know. It's creepy. And you only need one box. There we go. Ah, uh, let me out of here. It became impossible to avoid the commotion in the streets, begged for his attention as he opened the shutters. The French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Aha! I don't know what all his flesh is down here, but I didn't know that from the stream, so. What is this? Infernary. This is where we need to go. And this is where stuff starts getting interesting. As there is monsters walking through here. Have I got any oil? No. But I have got tinder boxes this time. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. <laughs> What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Because there's monsters down here. There is a monster around here somewhere. Oh god. You 
joueur, que ce soit, il a eu. Oh, doesn't he? some oil I need to keep this fueled up for this part oh, is there anything behind here no okay 2nd of June 1839 it's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, okay. Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it, lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Oh. Maybe not. Last pub, that's, that's uh, Paul said. It's blocked from the other side. Ah, it's this part where I died last time. Oh, yo. It's full, filled right up there. Ow! That hurt! Right, okay, so... Hatch too heavy to lift by hand, I just saw where to do it from. Something clogged in the crank, and there's that thing up there. I move this and this and turn the crank. What's down there? It looks like they've completely rest away. I haven't really looked around this part yet, so I'm gonna do that. Obviously, being very ca very careful as a process. As there is a monster walking around. Hello? Any creepy monsters in here? That door's open. I think I just went around in full circle now. 25th of June, 1839. Ah. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Wow. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me 
about the nature of glass, oh, wow. how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay, I found the second piece. I don't want to stay any longer. Let's just go down into the depth below. Oh, pretty lamp. Pretty lamp. My sanity is rather low. Ow! Why do they hurt when I touch them? Okay, there's lights down here. Oh, I've got further than I did. He crashed through the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Whoa! I think I know what this is. I've got to stay out of the water. my suspicions. Stay out of the water. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Can you stop following please water monster? Now that was for something. Wait, is that a time or something? Get up! Get up! No! Get out of the water! Following me, like he knows where I'm going. No! 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 Oh, oh my god, the wound is bleeding quite badly. Oh, there is a timer. Get up on a barrel. Oh, yes. Ah! Oh, so keep going, you keep running. Oh, come on. No, get up. I don't like this! Nope! 
I need to get out of here badly right now. Another one in here. Oh, I won't set a few more. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. I can make it. Oh! Alright, there's a gate somewhere. It's like a. Distracted by ET. Ah, right. I see what I gotta do. Go over there. Eat that. Hurry up! Dead flesh can act as a distraction. I know! Do this, but I had to do that. All is good, head is pounding. Take this with me. Oh, oh, I thought you see this. But he's munching. Nope. Up. A few more meeting for you. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I got no oil. Picked up a hollow needle. Ah. Can I go? Yay, I can go. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, really? More water? Please don't let it be any more water monsters. No! Have to run. 
block the path, run. Right, okay, I thought I was safe on top of something, but not this time. Right, run! And close the door this time. Run! Oh my god! <laughs> no, I Took the buff about. I don't even know where they are right now. Just keep running. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh. He felt himself being hoisted upon the ocean. The lacquered hull of SS. Ports that glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of the setting sun. He turned his head to the car motion, reached towards the coast of Portugal, and thought, Is this another dream? Oh, so that was a panic. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. So, thank you all so much for watching. It's been Nathan playing Amnesia: The Dark Descent, and as always, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.